U.S. officials have suggested they may insert so-called poison pill clauses into future agreements, which could jeopardize deals with other countries including Britain. The clause means any country who signs a free trade deal with the United States could see it ripped up if they went on to sign a future deal with Beijing. Both the U.S. and China have been quick to indicate their willingness to sign deals with the U.K. as soon as Brexit is completed, meaning the government may be forced to choose a side. Yesterday, the Trump administration announced they were eager to sign a cutting-edge trade deal the moment Britain leaves the EU. In a letter to Congress, U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer said he was looking to form new trade deals with the U.K. as well as Japan and the EU. He wrote the U.S. wants to develop cutting-edge obligations for emerging sectors where U.S. and U.K. innovators and entrepreneurs are most competitive. We will continue to expand U.S. trade and investment by negotiating trade agreements with Japan, the EU and the United Kingdom. We are committed to concluding these negotiations with timely and substantive results for American workers, farmers, ranchers and businesses, Robert Lighthizer wrote to U.S. Congress saying America wants a cutting-edge deal with the U.K. Image, Getty. Earlier this summer, China tried to get a head start over America on negotiations by saying they were also ready to open discussions on a free trade deal. The U.S. inserted poison pill clauses into recently negotiated trade deals with Canada and Mexico sparking fears the U.S. could force Britain to choose between the two superpowers. The move allows America to give either country six months' notice before terminating the agreement should Canada or Mexico strike a deal with a country the U.S. deems to operate a non-market economy. David Hennig, former assistant director at the Department for International Trade, warned the clause would cause difficulties for the UK. He told The Times the government could be forced to make a ferociously controversial decision. The China clause will be a problem, he said. We don't want to say we won't do a deal with China. Donald Trump may force the UK to choose between the US and China. Image, Getty, the Trump administration and China are engaged in a bitter trade war after the United States slapped $200 billion, 153 billion pounds worth of tariffs on Chinese goods last month. America has accused Beijing of engaging in cyber theft and forcing foreign companies to give up technology secrets. In response, Chinese leader Xi Jinping imposed tariffs of $60 billion, 46 billion pounds, on U.S.-made products. However, U.S. support for Taiwan has further enraged Beijing, who see the island in the South China Sea as part of their territory. In September, the Pentagon announced a deal had been struck with Taipei who agreed to buy $330 million, 229 million pounds worth of spare parts for F-16, C-130 and F-5 aircraft. Chinese Premier Xi Jinping is in a bitter trade war with the Trump administration. Image, Getty. At the time, the Pentagon's Defense Security Cooperation Agency said the deal also included systems and related elements of logistics and program support. AAUS Department of Defense statement said, this proposed sale will contribute to the foreign policy and national security of the United States by helping to improve the security and defensive capability of the recipient, which has been and continues to be an important force for political stability, military balance and economic progress in the region, Beijing demanded that Trump cancels the arms deal which they viewed as the U.S. flexing its military muscles in support of Taiwan. A U.S. Navy ship which docked in Taiwan this week further enraged Chinese officials who viewed the move as another act of American military aggression.